Hello, my name is Katherine Clark, and we're here to talk about spirituality. Spiritual building block number four. Let's just call it, what on earth am I doing right? Many people, as we've said, have trouble accepting that they are good people, capable of doing good things, and their mistakes can consume them. Like the man who said, yes, I'm hard on others, but I'm harder on myself. Their inner dialogue is rather harsh, consequently unpleasant. If we are truly going to engage on a spiritual journey and advance, we have to stop micro-scrutinizing everything we're doing wrong. Some might take issue with this. Some might say to me, sin is real, lady, uh, to which I would reply, yes, it is, but so is virtue. And why are we all so obsessed with sin? In the Christian tradition, we're taught that Jesus died to take away all our shame. If this is true, my friends, why do we feel so badly about ourselves? It, is it possible that our formation over-focused on sin and forgot all about hammering home to us that we, are both, that we both possess virtue and we are expected to joyfully develop and pursue virtue? It is this, like, is it the negative brain bias? Let's ask the question. We are programmed with a negative brain bias that uh, was created and protects us from danger. So we can remember something scary and dangerous and, and have it available to protect, for protection. Now we can leave that discussion for another time, and, but I think it's possible that's part of why we do this to ourselves. Let's try to locate virtue in ourself as an exercise of mercy and also, my friends, as an exploration of the truth. What on earth are we doing right? Anything? Let the searchlights be switched on and let us all begin to search tirelessly for anything we did that was good, that was kind, anything that we did that was helpful, truthful, honest, possesses integrity, self-restraint, or that helped another person. If you're unsure about yourself, get a notebook, open a file on your phone, and keep a record. Pounce not on everything you're doing wrong and every mistake you're making. Pounce on anything that you're doing that's right, that you're happy with, and remember it. If you wanted an entry point to the journey to spiritual excellence, this has to be one. Think of everything you're doing right, and do more of it. The problem with this is that people are so unfamiliar with thinking this way that they have to be initially disciplined in their thinking. Hence, the writing something down part. Uh, that's a good exercise. I remember one woman engaging with this journey. She was a single mother with three children. When asked what she was doing right that she was happy about, she said, are you kidding? I'm divorced and I have three kids. I don't think I'm doing anything right. Now, after 24 hours of searching for virtue in herself, she started to write down a thing here or there. She woke up her children each day cheerfully. She cooked them breakfast. She talked about their day. She made meaningful eye contact with each child as she was dropping them off and said private prayers with each one of them at night as she put them to bed. She began to jot these things down. She began noticing more and more where she put other people first, where she refrained from an unkind comment, where she kept her temper, where, and we all have a temper, uh, where she cleaned, where she cooked, where she shopped, and otherwise served the people in her life. She said, then after the first day, she said, I thought, maybe I'm not as bad as I think. After the second day, she said, I really cheered up because I thought, this is going pretty well. It, it's not going too badly, actually. They look okay, and I'm really trying. By the third day, she said, I was convinced I might buy myself a mink coat because I was doing so well. The moral of that true story she never again allowed herself to think of herself as a failure, a terrible person, or a bad mother. She began a spiritual journey based on truth, with humble gratitude. She herself would say, I began to like everybody else around me, too. Um, 
So spiritual advice number four for us, look for everything you're doing right and do more of it.